Okay, uh, here we are uh, with uh, Avalon Zelena. Um, we're going to do the electrical installation. Uh, so this is going to be an interesting presentation, and it's marking some real progress in the project. Let me uh, get to the next slide. Okay, so after being in this project for a little while, uh, I've kind of given a thought of how this process works, because at some point, you know, I have the goal of, you know, making my own uh, design and build company with the um, designer, you know, be a partner with the uh, current designer and project manager to make a company together and help all of you who are in Lviv, Ukraine or other places in Ukraine possibly to finish your apartments. So there are um, a project sequence, you know, so there's like 15 steps and each of these steps can be done individually. So you can start and stop these steps that's how they're defined, that you can, um, for example, put, adjust the gas lines and then you're not uh, in danger of anything going awry. And then you can wait until you have the money or until you have the time to do the plumbing and heating. And you should do the plumbing and heating together. Once you start that part, you should finish it. And then you can wait and do the electrical. So that's how I've defined these uh, project sequences and phases. Also, there's skill, common skills or trades that are needed. But uh, they kind of fall under a phase. So you have a planning phase, you know, design and estimation, you know, where you're uh, just thinking about it, but you're not really committed to the um, construction work. But there is some cost, obviously, to do the designs. Then uh, you have the structural phases, you know, moving the walls around, adjusting the gas lines. Now, we didn't adjust the gas lines early, but we're going to do that later. We're going to do that probably here in the environment phase. Uh, it just we learned that we could do it uh, after the fact after we had already started the plumbing and heating, we learned that it was possible to raise the height of the gas line so it's not coming right through the middle of the living room. You know, we could hide it better. Uh, but in the future, uh, that's something we would do early on. And then you have the systems, which is plumbing and heating. And here we just finished the electrical AC uh, hookup and ventilation. Uh, these all should be done, you know, in the electrical step. And the next step, which is also, I'll make a video for, it's already finished, uh, is the screed. It's a new word I learned, but I'll talk about that more. You know, it's filling in the floor with concrete, but this is all environment, ceilings and walls, painting, flooring and tiles. This is all like, uh, I don't know, it could be something else like surroundings. I just picked the word environment because it gives you the colors and the surfaces and everything that you're going to be um, living in. And then you have the installation step, which is marked in red like these above because they're pretty serious steps, uh, require skilled trade, highly skilled trades. They all require skilled trades, but, um, you know, completing the bathroom, you know, hooking up the toilet and the sink and the uh, fixtures and everything require a lot of testing, a lot more care. So I mark the ones in red that are a higher risk and require more supervision. And then putting in the electrical fixtures like the lights and the outlet covers you know, um, whatever else, devices, uh, that's also requires a lot of care. And then um, not to downgrade these steps, these are also important steps, but the skill level is not as high as, as, as what's marked in red. And then you have the finishing steps, you know, which is the interior doors and trims. And these you can move in. You can move in after um, number 11. You know, uh, theoretically, it'll, it'll kind of be a pain. You know, people will be coming in the house and doing work and there'll be a lot of dust and things to clean up. Probably you have to clean up after them and they'll be it'll be a bit disruptive. But if you have a rent situation or, you know, you're like me and you don't want, you know, you're coming to town and you don't want to be troubled with finding a rental apartment, you know, or you're between places, you know, then then you can just live there and, and tolerate the dust until it's it's finalized. I mean, here from 12 to 15, you're probably looking at one to two months at the most and most of that time is just waiting for stuff to come in the actual time it takes to install this is probably two or three days tops but most of the time we'll be waiting you know because you have to order a lot of these things so enough about that um, this is kind of like uh yeah how a, a remodeling project plan goes okay so the next step is the electrical steps um we wanted to test the plumbing and heating um that, that uh, you know, plumbing is uh, our plumbing is integrated into electrician electrical systems, so the plumbing really wasn't done until it's tested uh, with its connections to the electricity. So there's some back and forth with plumbers and electricians. That's also why we put those steps close together because they have to work together. And then uh, we installing the breaker boxes, you know, um, so that was I probably should say installed instead of installing because it's done now. 
and then the wiring, and then we uh, put a smart home system, like an app, that everything is connected to the app, temperature control, the heating, whatever. It's all lights, everything I think is connected to an app, so I, it can save energy. You know, you can warm the house up uh, before you come in, you know, so you'll have more comfort and better energy savings, and easier to control. You don't have to stick your hand inside cabinets and turn knobs, and, you know, sometimes you overshoot it and undershoot it, so it's good to have electronic control. And then um, we're putting in the air conditioner hookup, and then we have to test the wiring. Um, at the time of this video, we're still waiting on the air conditioning hookup, and it's also part plumbing, part electrical. So there's a drain line that has to align to connect, that has to be connected to the drain, and then there's uh, also an electrical uh, system that has to be set up because you know there's air conditioning condensate, and that has to be put into the drainage, and then there's also needs a different kind of uh, needs its own breaker, its own circuit. So we're still waiting on that. Um, that can actually be done independently before you close the ceiling. So there's no hurry. But the most important thing is that you test everything and make sure everything works. Uh, electrical is a very serious step. Uh, this is a diagram here of how we approach, you know, they cut channels. Now, normally they used to cut channels here for the horizontal wires, but we went uh, on the floor and then, you know, that gets covered with the concrete along with the plumbing. So it runs alongside the um, underfloor heating and it saves a lot of this cutting because this cutting work is actually very messy and very labor intensive and takes a lot of time. So that was a nice, uh, that, that probably saved half, half of the labor, you know, by being able to just run the wires on the ground versus, you know, running them, you know, on the sides here. Uh, okay, next slide. So yeah, here you can see the plumbing and heating testing. So when the plumbing was done, we were just given a wire off of the boiler, so we had no idea if it worked or not. So um, when the electrician came, he connected it to a volt. There's a voltage stabilizer. I think the power in Ukraine fluctuates and it can affect the boiler, so this uh, smooths it out. I'm not really sure. I'm not an expert, but I, I've seen this in every place I've lived in Ukraine that the boiler is connected to a voltage stabilizer of some sort. Um, so we ran the tests on the plumbing. The electrician came and hooked up all the plumbing elements, and that was the first thing we did was test the hot, uh, the, the, um, that the hot water heater is working and that the floor heating, uh, that things are getting warm. You know, and there's a pump inside this uh, boiler as well that's, uh, I think, electrically uh, powered that pumps the hot water through the floors to, get her, to speed up the heating. So this is the breaker box uh, when he started. Um, now, I think in the... For earlier videos, you've seen what was given by the building company, by Avalon. Um, you can't use that. <laughs> you know, if you're going to have any kind of uh, appliances or anything, it's, it's, it's a very simple box, so it had to be completely replaced with something more serious. So I, I have never seen a breaker box like this anywhere in America or Norway in a, in a house. You know, this looks pretty, pretty solid, and it's all labeled and done very professionally. I, I was quite impressed. You know the, the quality of um, workmanship that you can get in the Ukraine and the value it's it's an incredible value um, uh, of, of how, what you get oh here yeah we have a little video let's let's play it yeah so so he, he the electrician is showing like uh, all the different connections we have so we have like uh, you know for electricity for fiber optic for internet and for security, you know, and then he saw, and this is where the um, brain box will go, like the door opening system, security system. I think the control will be there. It's be like a phone so you can let people in. Um, so yeah, the electrician, uh, I didn't, you know, uh, yeah, I didn't want him to talk through this video because I don't, I didn't know about the sound quality, but here he's giving an explanation um, of the, uh, of all the wires. Let me see if I can just zip through this. Yeah, so he, he's doing that for, yeah. And then here we have, we have the boiler. I mean, we have the um, floor heating controller. Let me just get back here. Yeah, so he'll finish up over here, and I can show you the floor heating controller. Yeah, so this is the controller for the floor heating. And you see it has an electrical connection, and this has all been tested. And later on in the app, uh, the, the project manager and designer, Yarina, she... Um, shows how everything works you know uh it's it's really cool but this is a this was money well spent uh, let me get to the next slide okay yeah here's the next slide so we made uh one modification 
you know, in the original plan, we only had a light switch on uh, on the right side of the bed. Uh, depending on your perspective, if you're laying down in the bed, it would be on your left, but it's fine. If you're standing here, it's to your right. But anyway, um, we added another switch on the left side in case you're sleeping on the left or sleeping on the right, or there's two people and one wants the lights on and one wants the side light off. So I think these, this is a, a, a bedside lights. They're independent and then either person can work the, um, work the um, ceiling lights here. And then here you get a, a view. There's another video here. You get a view of the floor heating and the electrical, you know, um, you know, uh, so yeah, we get a view of floor heating. Yeah. So you can see all the electrical hookups. They've put some lights in, you know, um, but it's, it's coming around really well, you know, and now we have a proper, you know, we have a plug here. So, you know, this is going to be um, in the living room and this is both the uh, electrical and internet uh, TV. Uh, it's like a brain box. And I think we have one in the small bedroom as well, you know, where we can uh, have a hookup for a cable TV. And so see, you see the electrical is running along the uh, floor alongside the plumbing, and then they've made some more holes for electricity. So yeah, and then here's the water filtration. And uh, yeah, so here's uh, Ehor, he's the electrician. You know, and he's just uh, giving a daily report. This is what I really like about these guys too, is that they give a pretty meaningful report every day. And then here we are on the balcony. They had to cut through very hard concrete. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't expecting this, but they uh, did a good job. I thought uh, it would, uh, um, they, they did it uh, because I want uh, electrical lights and outlets and switches outside on the balconies. You know, uh, so yeah, they got through the, the structural concrete you know, I was, uh, I was, I was expecting maybe that it wouldn't have been possible, but uh, they managed it. So good job. Um, let me get to the next slide. So yeah, here you can see again, the electrical wires running alongside the um, uh, plumbing. So these are uh, lines to supply the radiator, you know, hot water lines uh, coming and going that take water to and from the radiator uh, that heat the room. And then also this is the electrical to the outlets in the, in the bedrooms. Uh, and this will all be buried. Uh, so we have um, more videos here. Let's see what we have. So we have more about the electrical. So you can see here they buried the electrical and the plumbing and they will continue to bury that. They're doing a good job keeping the workspace organized. A little crowded, but it looks like everything is being kept tidy. And then uh, you have the uh, um, wires you know, from the ceiling. So that'll be the ceiling lights. I'm wondering how they got those fastened and I hope they use a Hilti BX3. Uh, it's a very silent and fast uh, um, concrete fastener. It doesn't make all the noise like the old way when they use the hammer drills and uh, have to put in concrete plugs. It's, it's real messy work. So, uh, and note that I'm doing this all, managing all this remote. Uh, she's in Norway. Yarina's in Norway managing these people. And I'm in, uh, I mean, I, she's in Ukraine. She's in uh, Ukraine and uh, I'm in Norway. And so this is all being done remote. So this is something we can do for you. You know, if you have investment properties, you know, in, in Lviv and you are pressed for time, we can, uh, we can manage this for you. And I'm the guinea pig, you know, I, I'm testing on my apartment and uh, COVID hasn't allowed me to travel. So uh, here Ehor is explaining uh, the work. You already seen the finished work. This was earlier on when he was uh, doing all the cutting and putting in the plugs and everything, but he gives a lot of explanations. It's, it's really cool how he does this. Um, let's just uh, zip through this. Yeah, so here he's, yeah, he's showing the different kinds of wires. We have low voltage wire, fiber optic, you know, low voltages for internet and cable TV, and then regular voltages to power up the house, you know, the different systems and appliances and your vacuum cleaner. So yeah, and then uh, here we have another video, you know, you know, just uh, give a quick tour. I think you've seen all this before. Yeah, it's just a better view of uh, the connection. So yeah, this is the kitchen outlet, you know, and then more uh, power for the kitchen, the dishwasher. So everything has been well thought out in planning. Uh, nothing has to be done at the last minute. So this is the advantage of having your designer and project manager as the same person. You know, Yarina did the CAD work and did all of, uh, made all the detailed plans. And then she's there on site every day making sure that everything is going according to what was uh, sketched and drawn, you know, so that nothing is getting missed. 
Um, as I said once again, really, really happy with the progress. Uh, so there we go. And then we'll go to the next slide. Let's see. So yeah, this is uh, more pictures just of how the wires look when they're hanging from the ceiling. And then they cut them and put a light bulb just to do testing. And then here's the wire to the ventilation. Now what's going to be nice about this bathroom, it's going to have two vents. It used to be two bathrooms with one vent each, and now it's one bathroom with two vents. And so we're going to have this double ventilation. It'll be one of the unique selling points of this property one day when it goes up for sale. I'll probably stay there for a few years and put it up for sale and try to get something bigger, the normal housing game. You know, so if you're interested, let me know. <laughs> I'll probably anyway post to YouTube when I'm ready to move to move to something else. Um, let me see what's on this video here. Yeah, so you can see a view of the ceiling wiring and the bulbs, and then they put in the outlets, and then they plastered around it, you know, to hold them in place. Uh, so that, that's good. And then here you can see the water line for the heating towel heating rack. No, let's see. And then, yeah, here's uh, more pictures, just more still pictures of how everything is looking now. Um, they've already, we'll talk in the next video about putting down the floor. They actually were able to do that quite fast. Um, the, there was a crew available that does this and uh, Yarina was able to grab them. I was expecting to wait another week, you know, to line them up and coordinate them, but she has good contacts and someone called her and said they were available and they were ready to go. And she's like, yep, we'll take it. Everything was, uh, so we were able to save a few days there, but it'll probably take a good three to five days, depending on the humidity for this to harden properly before we can continue work. You know, I was reading, um, and I think in general, it takes about three days, maybe even up to a week if it's high humidity. I'm not sure what summer is like in Ukraine right now, but I think it's pretty wet. So I think we have to give it probably the full five to seven days probably for this to work. But now you can see everything is nice and neat. The breaker box, all the wires. We have the main junctions. We have the controller installed for the floor heating system. Uh, it's, it's all looking good. All the wiring is nice and neat up, up top. So it's, it's all looking very, very good. Um, and then here is a smart home system and there's sensors. There's going to be sensors on everything. So it's, it's looking, it's looking quite promising. Um, let me just, uh, see here. so Yarina here is explaining, um, how the smart home system works, you know, uh, so let's see. It's, uh, it's, uh, I haven't tried it yet, but she is showing how it's controlling everything, how it, it ties to this uh, system and the lights. In the old apartment, I had to stick my hand in a, in, a, in a, open a door and turn a knob, and sometimes you overshoot it, undershoot it. It's either too hot or too cold. So here you get much more delicate control of the, of the temperature, you know, so it's, it's very good. Um, and then the, yeah, air conditioning hookup. Uh, that's uh, still in progress, as we discussed earlier. So if you have any uh, questions or co comments, leave them below. There's a way through YouTube. You can contact me by email. I think you go to the about, and then it, uh, you can click there and get get to my email address and write me an email if you're interested in, um, in our services. You know, we'll be setting up a company and everything probably in the after this COVID thing has died down, probably in the early part of next year. But um, we can even help you now to get started, you know, with designs and planning if you have an apartment in Lviv and it's a shell finish, you know, you know um, we, can, we can help you right away. So, okay, I'll make the next video on the screen pretty soon. And uh, again, thank you for uh, bearing with me and uh, I hope you enjoyed everything.